This is question number 25 and it carries six marks. We're asked to solve a simultaneous equations x squared plus y squared is equal to 9 and x plus y is equal to 2. We're asked to give our answers correct to two decimal places. I'm going to call the top one equation 1. x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. That's a circle. The second one I'm going to rearrange and I'm going to write that y is equal to 2 minus x. This is just a straight line. So essentially what we're doing is looking for the points of intersection of a circle and a straight line. I could have made x the subject here. All I'm looking to do is substitute into equation 1 to eliminate either x or y. So if I substitute this in, we're going to have x squared plus y squared. Well, y is now 2 minus x, which I need to square, and that will be equal to 9. What I'm going to do now is expand the bracket. So we'll have x squared plus 4 minus 4x plus x squared and that will be equal to 9. I'm going to rearrange this quadratic equation into a form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So I want the right hand side set to 0 and then I'm just going to rewrite this as 2x squared minus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. So this is my quadratic equation in x. I'm going to go ahead and solve this and then plug the values back into the linear equation to find the values of y. At this stage now, I'm going to use the quadratic equation. I'm asked to give my answers to two decimal places. So I'm not going to bother trying to factorise it. I'm just going to use the quadratic equation. When we have the quadratic in this form, we can say that x will be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's go ahead and solve this quadratic. So we can say now that on here, and I'll write it just here. So our value of a in this particular case is going to be 2. Our value of b is going to be minus 4. And our value of c is going to be minus 5. So we can say that x will be equal to minus, then we can have the minus 4, plus or minus the square root of minus 4, which we need to square, minus 4 times by a, times by c and that's all over now for uh, two lots of the two so two lots of the two so let's go ahead and work this out so in the calculator now i'm just going to type this in so we're going to have minus minus four which is four i'm going to start with the positive and that is going to give me now the square root of so minus four squared is going to be 16 and then if I look at this, this is simply going to be adding 40. So plus 40. You can type all of that in or you can just write it like so. So what we've got then is the following. So from here, if I wanted at this stage, I could say that this was going to be 2 plus or minus root 14 over 2. I'm going to get to decimal answers as I need to do that. So what we're going to have then is the following. If we give now this right here, that's going to be 2.87. So x is going to be equal to 2.87. And this now is correct. We're asked for this to two decimal places. And that's 2dp. That is the positive solution here, or using the positive in this case. I'm now going to switch this over. And we're going to have the negative. So if I do the negative, that's going to give me to two decimal places minus 0 0.87. So x is equal to minus 0 0.87. Okay, and that gives me this to two decimal places. So these are my two solutions for x. I need to go ahead now and find the two solutions for y. At this stage, you might see that this is going to work out quite nice. You can either use this one or you can go ahead and uh, use it in its original form, or you could either go ahead and use it in this particular form. I personally wouldn't. I'd just take it and take the linear from here. So when x is equal to 2.87, if we just look at this, it's fairly logical what's going to happen here. Subbing back into the linear equation, we can say the following. y is going to be equal to 2 minus x. So on this one, what we're going to get is y is going to be now minus 0 0.87, and that's correct to 2dp. And then this one now, we're going to have y is going to be equal to 2.87, and again, that's correct to 2dp. So all I've done is subbed in those values, let's put the bracket here, and got those. 
So if you wanted, you could write now x is equal to 2.87, y is equal to negative 0 0.87, and then we've got x is equal to negative or minus 0 0.87, and y is going to be equal to 2.87. So lots of different approaches to get those. That's one way. You can sub them back into here, or you can use it in its original form. Either way round, six marks for these correct answers, rounded to two decimal places.